Welcome to Suzuka for some really great races from last week. This one is essentially a masterclass in how to mess up your own race with needless penalties. If you enjoy this, please give it a like. I make a sound start. I think I drop one place, but I'm not in trouble. Please note the green Mazda just dropping into seventh there. That Mazda is going to come back into the action spectacularly later on. These two go side by side into that corner. I'm sniffing for an overtake. I manage a pretty opportune nip down the inside there. Some contact, a bit more than I would want, really. It looks fairly innocuous from this angle. He doesn't go off the track. He doesn't lose much time. So up to fifth, fairly positive start. He then gets the run on me and we're just making a break from the group behind. So I indicate that he should overtake and I won't bother him so that the two of us can escape together. That's often the quickest thing to do at the start of a race. Just get a gap on the group behind so that you don't fall into battling and uh, into their clutches. He unfortunately gets a half second penalty and I don't escape either, so we're very much in that group. Our plan has failed. However, I do manage to make a break. I'm holding on to fifth, looking like a, a sound result. I don't want to fight with this fella. I want to stay away from the people behind. Unfortunately, in my attempts to stay out of his way, I pick up a penalty by going off road slightly. So I was so keen not to make contact I actually drove slightly across the chicane and got a one second penalty. Needless. So what happens when I take that penalty? I lose my nice solid gap and drop in in front of a battling group of five cars. Sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth and tenth. As a result of that, I get tapped rather terribly by the bloke in behind. He just didn't need to poke the front 30 centimetres of his car into my boot lid, but he did. Uh, he picked himself up a two-second penalty and messed my exit up and had me sliding all over the place. I was trying to overtake him immediately by going for the inside, but instead got a terrible slide on and then got overtaken by lots of vehicles but again that was my fault I got that stupid needless one second penalty that dropped me into 10th I end up as part of this battle get past a few cars looking like I may be able to get sick back But I need to overtake cleanly. So what I'm trying to do is take a different line through the corner so that I can get a better run out or get down the inside into the next corner. And not on this first bend, but the, uh, the third bend that we go through. I'm trying to take this slightly different line. I can't see the apex of the corner and again, just cut the apex and go off track and pick up another one second penalty so i was looking like a good fifth place get a second penalty drop to 10th get back up to almost sixth again couldn't see the apex there pick up a second penalty Dropping back with my penalty to 10th, which in fact was fully expected. However bad a race you're having, maybe there's someone else having a worse one. And that green car that was next to me is having that. He, he was 7th. He's obviously had a bit of trouble, but he's catching up. He can see the group ahead. He's thinking, I've got two laps to go. 
I can do this. I can get up to fifth. And then he gets a horrible slide on. He's all over the shop. But he gathers it together. And he's like, oh, I'm still in the game. This is, this is good. I, I can still see fifth place. This is going to go okay. And then he gets a penalty for cutting the chicane. <laughs> and he's off. He's had enough. Instant quit. It must have been soul-destroying. He had the potential for a nice finish. He gets into a terrible, terrible mess. Ties himself in knots, but slows down perfectly for the corner while sliding. And then, gut-wrenching. Hard luck. I'm off. Toys out the pram. Anyway, if you enjoyed that video, uh, please like and maybe think about subscribing. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.